we're going to have a little think about what post boxes might look like in the future. And you're going to give me all lots of lovely ideas, and then I'm going to draw them on the page. Does that sound good? Yeah. yeah. Today we are working with illustrator Ruth Graham from Donegal who's come here to Dublin to bring to life our ideas about the future of post boxes from a new generation. I think they should make them more fancy and like fancy. more high tech and stuff. And I like maybe so you could see it in the dark. Ah, that'd be good. Go in the dark as well, yeah. What would the stamps look like in the future do we think? Um, smiley faces. Yeah. Smiley faces, that's good. That's nice something. That's something I like to draw. I do little smiley faces. Okay. What are you thinking? Um, some solar panels, yes. Little solar panels on it. That would be really good for the environment, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. Instead of using electricity. Could be a post box that has one that you can put a letter in and a box. Oh, a letter in. Oh, like a big parcel. Yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Right, CD. What's your post box idea? Um, but is it a big post box, a little post yeah, box? Yeah, a big one. A, a big one? Yeah. yeah. And what sort of shape will we do it? Big and tall? Big and tall. Okay. That sounds good. I'll start to draw here. Could it have a face? Yeah. 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 And a it says like face. where you put it in like thank you um. A oh, talking box. post box? Yeah. Oh, that's such yeah. a good idea. Yeah, I think we should talk. What about, what would make it a bit crazier? We give him some arms or something? Yeah. 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 Maybe some hair. What about some hair? <laughs> That'd be terrifying. <laughs> then we would just think that post box is a post box human. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he letters hair. into his hands and then he just eats them like this. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I like that idea. Right, like, hang on. He puts it we'll take this in his we are currently underway upon a project which will refurbish all of our post boxes across Ireland. Our post boxes are constantly being looked at in terms of ideas for now and into the future, and we want to ensure that we maintain these within every community and allow people to connect and send love. Do you send many letters and parcels to people? Um, I send letters to Santa. Oh yes, of course, that's very important. Mm -hmm. And do you get parcels in the post sometimes? Uh, yeah. 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 Yes. On birthdays or just all the time? Um, all the time. All the time, yeah, yeah I do as well. Yeah. The postman is always at my house. And what do you think the solar panels are, are powering on this one? Uh, I didn't think about that. We could make something that it powers. It yeah. could be light up again. It could power a conveyor belt underneath it. Oh, that's right. fancy. As soon as you put a letter in or parcel, it just goes straight onto a conveyor belt. Okay, right, so we've got a little conveyor belt going out the side, maybe. What colour would you like it to be? Green. Green. <laughs> That's good. That's on brand. Oh my goodness. So, Anne Post are going to have to make this, are they? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he doesn't have any legs. Oh, yeah, he needs legs to walk around. Yes, maybe he can have wheels or something. Yeah, wheels. Yeah, yeah. We'll just put little bits there, and those are his wheels. In case he needs, in case he wants to take a little he walk away. He can about. jump around. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Sadie? Is that a good, tall, crazy post box? Yeah. yeah. I think when it's full, it should just walk, roll over to the post box. Oh. The post. Yeah, when he's full. That's a great idea. So, when he's full, we'll put that he... Okay, I'll write it down on a little post-it. When he's full, he goes to the post office himself, is that right? Yeah. If this guy here came to your house, would you not be terrified? No. No? no. no. I'm just... My sister will be terrified because she's just a baby. Food could be his letters, but it doesn't actually eat them. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because if he ate them, that'd be no good. Nobody would get their letters. Yeah. That's a good robot, I think. <laughs> a good robot post box. Yeah. Oh, the kids had so many ideas. I think they had uh, the idea for a drone was one of their ideas, a drone post box. Um, robot post boxes, um, rocket post boxes. You name it, they were throwing it all out there. Uh, I was just thinking about it randomly, and then I just thought, maybe if you put a letter inside it, it might be better for the environment if it, if a conveyor belt went through. or And it would be quicker if you could put a package in at the bottom onto the conveyor belt. I did a drone that it delivers um, mail to your house. 
I think that that might help people because you, people don't have to walk all the way, male people don't have to walk all the way to the house. I'm just, just thinking about them there and they're actually a really nice way to talk to someone. Uh, instead of using your phone, it might save your battery. I had lots of fun today drawing and colouring. A robot that takes letters and posts it in a wheel all the way to the post. It will help people because so they don't get the ma they'll mail it in, and uh, so the postman can have a little rest while he well the robot gets the letters. I never really thought about post boxes before, but now they're really cool. We're really excited about the future for post boxes. Today, we've seen some really great ideas with technologies that already exist and technologies that may exist into the future. We've had some great thoughts, great discussions, and great insights from a different generation of how they'd like to see how we would connect, how we would distribute, and how we would send love into the future.